My name is Shota. One day I was at the beach enjoying the summer of my first year of high school with my friend Takashi. Whoa! My goggles got washed away! Eh? Oh no! They were so expensive! <laughs> I'll dive down and find them. I'm sorry. I'm glad I'm with someone from the swim team. Thank you, Shota. Don't get too excited. I might not be able to find them. I can't see them anywhere. They might have been washed too far away. In the end, I couldn't find Takashi's goggles. But... What is that? A doll? No, it's a person! I have to save her! I found a girl sinking to the bottom of the sea. Eh, this... This is bad no matter how you look at it! I quickly picked up the girl and swam as hard as I could. Please be okay. Takashi, call an ambulance! What? Oh my gosh! Okay, I will! Please wake up! I started performing CPR on the girl. <coughs> what a relief! The ambulance is coming for you right now! <sighs> Miraculously, the girl survived. I had no idea at the time, but that moment would later become a turning point in my life. One week later, the girl and her parents came to visit me at my house. Thank you so much. We will never forget what you did. Yeah, thank you very much. It, it's okay. I'm really glad I was there to help. I was on the swim team, but I was never good enough to be one of the best. I went to the beach because I couldn't make the time I wanted in swimming. I wanted to skip swim practice. Thanks to my swimming ability, I was able to save her life. For the first time, I was happy to be on the swim team. In the future, I want to be in a job where I can help people. I wish I could use my swimming abilities to do that. For the next few years, I lived my life with the goal of becoming a member of the fire department water rescue team. After graduating from university, I fulfilled my dream and joined the fire department water rescue team. I was finally living a fulfilling life. Your next day off coincides with mine, right? Let's go camping together. Oh, that sounds great. Suzuki and I joined the rescue team at the same time, and we shared the same outdoor interests. We would often go out on trips together. So we went on vacation. The campsite that we went to was a popular place for people to play in the river but the heavy rain from the day before had flooded the river. Oh, the river is getting bigger and bigger. We should set up the tent far away from the riverbank. We decided to set up the tent far away from the riverbank so that if the river got bigger, the tent wouldn't get washed away. Wow, it's amazing! Wow, it's moving so fast! Don't go near the river, it's dangerous! The children at the campground were excited by the speed of the river. That looks dangerous. We should be careful. If anyone gets swept away in the river, they will have a serious problem. We were walking towards the kids when it happened. Wow! Mom! Oh my gosh! Somebody help! Somebody help! The younger child slipped and fell into the river. I jumped into the river as fast as I could. I chased the boy after he got swept away. The river was flowing very fast, so it was hard to catch up to him. Oh no! I finally caught up with him, and was able to get him out of the water to safety on a nearby rocky beach. Ugh, I'm so happy you're okay. I was so relieved the boy was safe, but suddenly a big tree from upstream hit me on the head and knocked me out. Shoda! I knew I was being taken away by the river but I don't know what happened after that. Three days later, I opened my eyes to an unfamiliar ceiling and an unfamiliar woman looking at me. Thank goodness. I'm going to go get the doctor now, okay? I survived. Suzuki had rescued me, and I spent the next three days unconscious in the hospital. Suzuki came to see me the next day. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you. Thank you for saving me. I'm really happy to see you're awake and doing well. I guess you can never be too careful. I was still inexperienced as a rescuer, 
I was so focused on saving the boy that I didn't think about my safety. I spent the next week in the hospital to take some tests and recover my strength. My nurse, Sana, devotedly took care of me. You're starting to become more hungry. Please, let me know if there is any change in your condition. I will. Thank you. Are nurses supposed to take such good care of their patients? She's so nice to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think she might like me. Eventually, it became the day of my discharge from the hospital. Um, Shoda. Thank you so much for taking such good care of me. It's okay. It's my job. Well, if you don't mind, we could have dinner together sometime. Y yes it's definitely okay with me. The note Sana gave me had her contact information written on it. Sana and I began going out to dinner every now and then. Very quickly, we ended up dating. It was an unforgettable experience for a water rescue worker to drown in a river, but I was so happy that I ended up with such a cute girlfriend. It had been six months since I started dating the kind, cute, and reliable girl Sana. I had begun thinking about the possibility of marrying her. Sana, it's only been six months since we started dating, but I'm starting to think about us getting married. That makes me so happy, but... Shoda, why do you not recognize me? At the hospital was the second time we have met in our lives. You were my first kiss, Shoda! What? Wait a minute, what do you mean? Ah! I remember saving a drowning girl at the beach when I was in high school. I performed CPR on her. Could it be... Are you the girl who was drowning at the beach? Yes, it took you so long to realize. Only because you were a little girl and a little bit plumper. You're much more beautiful now, so I didn't realize. So because of that, just in case I met you again, I did my best to lose weight so that you would think I was cute. Sana went on talking in detail about the day we met. When she was 13 years old, she was having trouble with her friends. She used to go to the beach alone just to get out of the house. That day she slipped on something and started drowning when she fell in the water. Back then, I hated everything. When I fell into the sea, I thought for a moment that I could just disappear. But when you saved my life, I decided it was my goal to become a nurse so that I could help people in need. The more I studied, the more insignificant my worries became. I'm only here now because of you, Shoda. I really love you. Sana, thank you for loving me so much. I'm sorry I didn't realize it was you. I went to meet Sana's parents. They were very welcoming. What? Isn't it a lovely coincidence that the young man who saved you is going to be your husband? Please take care of my daughter. Yes, I will do my best. Six months later, we got married. It feels good to know that the lady next to me didn't give up on life because I saved her from drowning. We made a promise to be together forever and to continue to help each other as a couple. <laughs>